So I wanted to show you, well first I had a comment about how to get these TED videos um, on your own blog uh, in HTML5, uh, not in Flash. That way users on iPad can view them. Um, now I made a few videos on HTML5 already, but I'm going to show you, I found a really easy way to do it, but I'll show you um, the easy way and then I'll show you the tricks. So here's the easy way. From TED's website, just click the RSS button in the uh, in Safari here and if you don't have that button Firefox has a little RSS icon and if you don't have any of that you can go to view source and check out the uh, link rel alt which is somewhere in here uh, there's some link rel alt somewhere in here that defines the RSS there it is right here here's the RSS feed right here so you can grab that um, so just click that and that's actually gonna give you all the mp4 files right here okay so let's take this first one for example okay here's this guy and we can so we can play that no, just autoplay okay so it's playing blah 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 and there's there's our HTML video so what we would do then is take this URL and go to a just a blank page and uh, not that page and we'll just go to video like we just made a video HTML page we'll just go video um, don't forget to use controls um, so controls and then uh, source equals and just put that source right there and make sure you close the video tag this way so it works just save and then just go ahead and load that video file again it's just an HTML file and just load that in Safari and ta-da you have a HTML5 version of a TED video now you're thinking oh this is really small you're right it is really small so all we're gonna do is go to our source here and we're just gonna take this X and change it to underscore 480 okay X underscore 480. Save that and refresh it, and voila, we've got a 480p version of the video. And if you're asking, are you sure it's 480p? If we minimize everything and kind of check out what 480p really is, um, sorry, I was jailbreaking. Uh, 480p is right here in this size box. So see how that matches? It's the same size as this box here, 720 by 480. Okay, so that's how you do that. So first, let's look at another technique of how to do this, a cooler technique, uh, I would say even a sneakier technique. So we'll go to TED.com. And if we wanted, if we didn't know that the podcast were there, let's say the podcast wasn't there, okay, what we would do then is we would go to Web Inspector, and we would inspect the page. So we will, well, actually, let's go to a video first, okay, and they're going to play automatically in Flash, so we're going to pause this in a second. Okay, so now we're going to inspect the page like that, and we take this object. Okay, so we've got an object here, and then we've got some script. So we're going to open the script here, and we're going to look through here, and we're going to see a bunch of stuff that doesn't make any sense. And we're going to scroll down, and we're looking for HTML5 stuff. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for some HTML5 stuff, and you know what? We're not finding it. It's not here. I know it's not here. I'm just looking for the hell of looking because you're going to look too. Okay, so it's not here. So you're like, well, now what? The answer is to change your user agent to iPad. When you do that, the page loads again, but the video is still in Flash, which means they're using some other kind of detection other than the, the user agent string to determine that you're... If, if, it's probably playing in Flash if you're capable of playing in Flash. That's probably what they're doing. So, let's inspect the page again, and if we look at the page this time, and we go to that script, this time, it's completely different. And I can see this jQuery can play video, video MP4. All right, so what I'm going to do, I've already read through this, so I'm just going to double click, and so I can copy it all. So I'm just going to copy all this random text. And again, this is the text inside of the JavaScript, right? So I'm going to just go to an open file here and paste, and let's soft wrap here. And basically what we're looking for is the video tag. So we go video, and oh, look, there it is. And here's our source, slash talks download video 98. Okay, beautiful. Copy that. Close this out. Slash talks is where we started. So right here, right about there. Okay, and hit enter. And that's going to actually redirect us. It should. Yeah, it's going to actually redirect us to the 480 version. So this is actually how I found out about the 480 version. This is the first thing I did. And this is how I found out it's a podcast. Because once it redirected the URL, I realized, hey, look, there it is. Okay, so that's how you do it this way. There's another technique that we can use that um, I'll show you in another video. If you can't, well, I, I guess we're still recording, although my, you know what, my power just went out, but I guess because I'm on a laptop, um, 
Yeah, so I can't see my screen anymore, so I'm probably going to cut this out. But anyway, there's a way you can do this on iPad with Firebug Lite, so I'm going to show you that uh, in the next video, so look for that. But this is how you can embed HTML5 videos from TED.